Good everyone, I'm Glitz Video, today we have an updated premium review on the IAR81C. This one was not originally on my list, but Harry kind of reminded me for it, so... Yeah, thanks Harry, because Joe completely forgot about this thing. So, over the years, the IAR has really been one of those planes that... Well, when it first came out, it wasn't good, and... I reviewed it when it had a little bit of a change, but obviously nowadays it has a lot more changes which warrant it. And most importantly, this vehicle has had a couple of unique features added to it, which does help it out, and obviously one of those features is going to be quite useful for it. You'll also see it in the gameplay, but obviously I'm going to show it here. So, let's begin with the armament of the aircraft, which I'm sure a lot of people will be buying this thing for. You start off with two 20mm MG151 cannons with 175 rounds each. And you also get two 7.92 FN Browning machine guns with 700 rounds. These are pretty formidable weapons, and for a 2.7 aircraft, this is excellent. In terms of ground attack, the 20mm will be your primary weapon, and if you run the air target belt, you get an APIT round. I think it's an APIT, it might be just a regular API, but it has around 25mm of penetration and then the high explosive rounds will be very good at dealing with light targets. So you do have a lot of choice when it comes to the actual versatility of this aircraft. It can work as an any cast, although it won't dogfight very well. It can work as a ground attacker. It, it can really do anything that you put your mind to it, to be brutally honest. The problem is, though, is that the flight performance of the IAR just isn't there for some people. And why is that? Well, let's have a look at the engine. It's a IAR IAR 14 KI 4, well, I'm, I'm just going to say K4C32 engine. That is a very weirdly named engine. It's a 14 cylinder radial with 100% power coming at 880 horsepower and takeoff power, which is war emergency power being 959 brake horsepower. Now this isn't very good considering how long the wings are and how heavy the aircraft is in general. So you will have some situations where this aircraft does feel a little bit underpowered which isn't great. But for what it's going to be coming up in the sale which is probably going to be 50% off although they could change it because obviously it is the, t the 10th year anniversary. For 50% off, at 500 Golden Eagles, this is not a bad aircraft to buy. Where the IAR does come in handy though is its ordnance options. Now, I do have the favourite weapon set up because this is how I normally use the IAR and Grand Forces. I bring the two Wolf Granata rockets, which are, I think it's called Wolf Granatas, but I just call them that because it sounds cool. Um, these are 112 kilogram rockets. They are extremely heavy, but when they hit, the opponent knows about it. And then you get a 250 kilogram bomb mounted on a trapeze, which has around a one second release delay. If you don't want to take the rockets, there are options for 50 kilogram bombs instead of the rockets, although I prefer to take the rockets. You can just take a 250, you can just take the rockets, or you can just take the 50 kilogram bombs. But I'll just put it on so you can actually see what it looks like. It isn't bad, obviously the rockets do fire at the same time I believe, and the bomb drops as normal. But obviously, as I said, it does have a small delay because it has to clear the propeller arc. So just bear that in mind when doing a ground attack, you will have to obviously get some practice for that. But for 2.7, rank 2, 500 golden eagles on the 50% sale, and if it's 75% off, which it could be, I'm not entirely sure what this sale is going to be. Well. All I can say is this thing's a bit of a steal. The thing is though, is this aircraft is not for everyone. Now why is that? Well as I said, it's about the maneuverability. As you'll see in the gameplay, the plane is not exactly maneuverable. So if you do want something that's a little bit more agile, um, there isn't really many options, but the Spitfire is a perfect pick. It's only around 150 Golden Eagles more. And if you want something that is more focused on ground attack, go for the 110G4. It has a much more heavier armament, has bigger bomb loads, and can even bring some rockets to the party if you need to. But anyway, I'm going to hand you over to the gameplay now. It's me and Harry as we go out and show off the key feature, which I'm not mentioning in the hangar. I'm letting you all see for yourself in the gameplay. I'll give you a hint. 
it's right here. And no, I don't mean flaps. I'll hand you over to the gameplay now, and I will see you all on the next one. And the guns yeah. and because I look at look at the first deals. I think it was the first game that had the DLC. But um, there was a DLC where you played as Ellie, and she had a friend, and you had to like help them get through the story. And obviously, that's how she eventually ends up meeting Joel. Like that made sense. That's good. But the thing is that you had to buy that DLC. If they just did a definitive edition, it'd be fine. But yeah. they won't. They're like they did with Borderlands 3 Director's Cut. Yep. Where you get all the DLC, all the extras, the Maurice's friggin' boxes, for me, is alone is worth it. Yeah. Maurice's Market. Yeah, that was good. But yeah, I, I, I just don't get games nowadays, like... It, it's... It's annoying because I, I know what they could improve, but, you know. Yeah. Well, we've got some company. Yank Knight's yeah. probably going to want to head on because that's all they know how to do. Yeah. Yep, he's just spraying and print. How did that not kill you? You know what? I'm not going to find out. I'm just going to keep on going straight and go for your buddy. Yep. Watch the yak, though. Yep, I'm, I'm coming watching around, him. it'll be a second. I'm watching him. Near be able to break his ass. Yeah, he's locked onto me like a missile. I'm gonna go for the P39 behind. Air break. Hits only. You're not gonna out slow me, son. Don't give me hits. I saw that hit marker. There you go. Where's the yak? There he is. Yeah. You know what? I'll let you deal with him. I'm going to go for the P40s in front. I'll just extend. He go ahead, P40s. Fire. Mig 3's dead. Good. Just watching him. There we go. Don't you run from me, boy. This is so easy to fly. You better not put out that damn fire, you damn No, you didn't. I'll see if I, I can get, get so to... sick of yaks putting out fighters. Not gonna outpace me here, son. Oh, don't you start doing that jinking crap. Are you really what? gonna try to turn fight in a cobra? Don't give me that sparking bullshit. Okay, you want to turn fighting the cobra? Okay. Oh, this thing is just so. Easy. First rule of engagement, P40, Mister. Go for tail and Charlie. Yep. My aim is horrible, but that's okay. Down to the MGs. Go for tail end Charlie and then I'd be dead because I'm at low speed. Take him down. This is USA teams in a yep. nutshell. Yep. I remember Ignore tickling because I've only got the MGs. Ass. There we go. There you go. Nice and easy. Honestly though. Like, yep. when it when it's that simple, there really is no question. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say on the review for this thing. I mean, it faces USA teams. It's a course there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's not There hard. we go. Three kills. Not a bad result. Yeah. Perfectly good bird. Yeah, she's always been quite good. I mean... When it first came out, you had to have a little bit of a finicky with it, but, you know. Yeah. Ooh, and I got a box. We what know what this is going to be. Is it going to be some of shit? Drum roll, please. Yeah. And it is an Avenger order. I'll actually be able to use that. 
But yeah, yeah pays pretty bad. well. Nice uh, sell on RP gain. Obviously, I'm not going to research much research again yet. But yeah, not a bad bird. 